Just for the record, go ahead and say your first name, spell your last name. Uh, Stephen Avery, A V E R Y. I'm sorry, Jen, can you turn this way more? We sure. Thank you. So, this has been kind of a, a crazy time for you right now. I can't even imagine what you're going through. What are you, what are you thinking when it comes to being kind of the center of this investigation? It feels like. Uh, what I feel like? That they're going to railroad me again, set me up. Or they set me up the first time. I had to do it 18 years to prove my innocence, you know. Now they want to redo it and see if they can get me or plant evidence so I don't get back out, you know. Who do you, who do you specifically think is framing you and why? Manitowoc County, the Sheriff's Department. Plus, maybe the old sheriff has got something to do with this, too. Why? They really never did like the Avery's, you know, with the salvage yard and with the business. You know, there could be a accident right there in the road. They won't call us. They'll call somebody else to come and get it. You know, we don't get much record calls from them no more. You know, it's always been like that for quite a while. Now, I'm sure you've been asked this before, but what are you feeling, just knowing that you were in prison or in jail 18 years? What's going on now? I mean, your family's going through a lot. You're going through a lot. I mean, does it sadden you, or you, what? It, what's going through your mind? What kind of emotions? Mm -hmm. Have you talked to your mom about it? What? Yeah, they don't know which way to go. You know, they're all puzzled, out and sometimes they just, they're so stretched out and everything else, you know. My brother too, my younger brother, he don't know what to do. I mean, he don't know which way is up and down, you know. And my mom and my dad and my other brother, my sister, they can't even go home. You know, they gotta stay someplace else. Have you had a time where you kind of just sit back and you're, or you're, you're up at night, late at night, and you're like, why is this happening to me? Yeah, I'm trying to figure, I'm still trying to figure that out. Why they always pick it on me? You know, I've been most of the time working up there, helping them, and then going back home and, and seeing my fiance at, in the jail. You know, they did, that's another case. What they're using against me too. Because I told them I was driving a car, and they didn't believe it. They believe that she is. It don't make a difference what I say or what uh, my family says. You know, it's been like that for I don't know how long. Okay. Now tell me, you know, there's been speculation um, around who has access to the yard. Do you think your two brothers could have had anything to do with this? No, no, not at all. What anybody can go down the road at nighttime and when everybody's sleeping, you know, and just drive in. My brother ain't gonna hear nothing. You know, my mom and dad, they sleep, you know, they don't hear that much. And down by me, it's way in a pit. And on the other side, you got the crusher, they're crushing gravel almost half of the night and early in the morning. So you wouldn't hear nothing drive in or nothing. So who do you think did something with her? I got no idea. If the county did something or whatever and trying to plan evidence on me or something, I don't know. You know I won't put nothing past the county. Anything you'd like to add? Well, I wish she'd come out and show her face so she can go home and be with her family. You know, that's probably the main part that I wish how that she'd come. How much money has your family lost because of the business being shut down? Quite a bit. Then everything what they did out there, they're, they're wrecking parts. And that's their money. You know, how are they supposed to live? You know, now, with all it is, who's going to buy a part? You know, they probably have to shut it down. We're going to have no business. You know, and it's all up in the air. Okay. Do you, do you think like thousands of dollars so far? Or do oh, yeah, I'd say a couple thousand dollars. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your, your talking to me. Did you want to get any other couple of yeah, shots?